Welcome to another Chrysalis walkthrough. Chrysalis is the premier church child theme for Divi. This walkthrough is all about the two worship pages on Chrysalis, the worship on site page and the online worship page. Doing both and church these days is super important. COVID has taught us that. And so we have very clear places for both sets of people people that are worshiping in your building and people that choose to worship with you online. Okay, let's start with the header. Um, the background image for this header, just like most Chrysalis pages, is picked up from the featured image from the page. Uh, if you don't know how to set that through Divi, it's in the main page settings featured image. If you don't have a featured image, you'll still have this nice gradient that will show up and so it's not required. Um, this is your contextual menu for all your worship pages, which can be found in the menu setting and then the widget that is set here can be found in the widgets called worship and you'll just see your worship on site, your online worship and your sermons page. If you have a collection of sermon series on a page, that might be another page that you would have under the worship heading. Uh, the next section is a uh, brief description of worship um, on site. I will just note that the main objective for this page is to help visitors feel comfortable with going to your church and checking out worship. That can be really scary for a first time visitor. And so you'll see that most of the items in this page are geared towards that. Uh, we restate the worship times. So if they change, don't forget to change them here. Um, we have the two buttons. The new here will take them back to the welcome page so that they can learn even more information about your church to help them feel comfortable. Uh, learn more just takes them down to the next section to keep them going through the page. Here, um, we've chosen to put the latest sermon, um, but you could also put uh, a featured sermon here if you have one that's really idyllic that would introduce people to what worship is like at your church. The next section actually explains your different worship services. And so you'll see that we have an image for each, the times for each, and then a description of what it's like to attend the service. What's the music like? Like, how do people dress? You know, anything to help people know what they can expect there so that they can imagine themselves fitting in. And we have spots for three different services. Obviously, you can add or remove ones as needed. Next, we have another calendar that just uses the um, the events category worship to bring in just the, the upcoming worship services. We've just told it to do three. And then finally, there's a button down here that goes to the category page for worship events so that you can see a list of all the worship events, uh, not just these three. Uh, the next section is actually pulling in all the groups um, that have the category worship. Um, this is good because, you know, worship takes a lot of volunteering, and so it can really help you um, figure out the groups. We've kind of put some of the most um, popular ones in there, uh, greeters, ushers, uh, worship design team or altar team, and the choir. Um, this is using the um, portfolio um, grid module. And uh, you might think, oh, that's weird. Your groups are using the portfolio module. Um, just to note, there'll be more information about this when we talk about groups, but we've repurposed projects into groups into Divi so that you can use all of the modules that you would normally use for projects like the portfolio module to list out your groups, which makes for really great 
uh, way to experience the groups on your site. And then again, we have a link that goes to the groups page. So that's your on-site worship page. Next, let's check out the online worship page. We're really happy with this page. A uh, quick note that we've given it the URL live, which is uh, probably easier to remember than online worship. So you can just tell people to go to yoursite.com forward slash live. Um, we put this uh, timer up here, um, which you'd have to reset uh, every time because the um, the standard Divi uh, timer is set manually. Um, so you could get rid of this section if you want. Um, we have this nice little handy feature where people can exit out of them it, and it will refocus them on just the video window, which is great. You'll notice that we've made this page in black um, so that it can even focus them more um, on the video window, just like you'd experience in things like Netflix or live stream. Uh, we built a little check-in form that you can use using the Divi form module. And then we have a link to your prayer page and your donation page. This box is for embedding your feed. Uh, we often use WP live stream for this feature, especially if you use uh, YouTube or Facebook or Twitch or Vimeo. Um, for your feeds is a good one, but whatever live stream feed you use, you can use a code module to embed it here. Uh, the next section is your upcoming events. This is um, using the uh, category worship. If you don't live stream all of your worships, um, you might wanna create um, another category just for online worships and just list those here so that it matches expectations. Uh, recent sermons, so this is if people are disappointed and they notice that there's nothing happening right now, they'll find this section and they can look at a, a previous sermon. And that's it. This is your live page. That also concludes our overview of the two worship pages. Thank you for checking out this walkthrough for Chrysalis the premier church child theme for Divi. Please check out all of our other walkthrough videos or visit faithspring.com for more information.